Hi guys. Well, as you can tell, it is a glorious day here in the end times. And the collapse of everything. Where I and uh, I think 35 million of my fellow Americans are in uh, some level of uh, flood warning, flood watch, active flood, recent flood, whatever. So uh, I am hiding out up the hill out of the floodplain here uh, on this uh, lovely Friday afternoon, August 9th. 2024 good lord uh, <laughs> but anyway guys uh, despite the fact that I have lost $300 in income at my vacation uh, cabin rental business is everyone uh, canceled uh, I can't imagine why I am not in a bad mood because I, I know you guys do not think that uh, that Hamma Little Tail has an edit button or that I can keep a secret from you. There is no way that the uh, the mouth himself, Hamma Little Tail, can keep quiet about his love life. That well, his his, uh, his lack of love life. So anyway, guys, the reason you haven't heard anything about my love life in uh, the past few months is uh, because it has finally happened, guys. I, uh, you know, I'm on this green singles, this green singles network, dating network. It's part of the conscious dating network uh, where you know I go out and meet other uh, green singles so uh, and so what happened was you know I was beginning to lose her uh, I was finally beginning to lose her uh, uh, to lose her uh, uh, you know, after I, I, I finally enlisted the Mushroom God to uh, banish Dulcinea from my brain with a 2x4, you know, that would happen. When was that? In February that I finally ran off Dulcinea out of my brain with a psilocybin 2x4. But then, of course, without clinging to that ridiculous ain't gonna happen fantasy five and a half fucking years of my life down the toilet I, I said well now that the last fragment uh, of fantasy uh, has been banished from my brain in my life by uh, the mushroom god that uh, obviously I had hit bottom, and uh, so I, I, I've been in this, uh, obviously, this uh, doomer lonely heart funk uh, since February, now August, but what happened was, and, and I was going to do a rant on this, but I, I kept my mouth shut because I just wanted to see if it could work. So the the uh, conscious dating network, including the green singles, uh, about a, when was it? It was right when I moved to New York. So it was in May. They had an online dating course. It was a it, it was a four part seminar that I signed up for. To find my green single boomer chick forever, and so I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the course we took, and then uh, we can find out whether I was successful or not. So uh, 
I remember when they, this is, uh, I went back to the uh, original email that I ever got back in May uh, from, from them. And uh, this is what they said. So I paid, uh, what was it, $200. $200, you know, it, it was $50 per, uh, the, per seminar. So $200, I said, okay, I am uh, throwing in $200 once and for all and forever to find my Doomer Chick forever. And this is how they talked me into uh, separating myself from two hundred dollars. Hi, Hambone. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to have an an online course you could attend from the comfort of your home that would help you to call in to call in your special someone a course that would help you get a get clear on your intentions and desires to craft an authentic online profile to step out with wholeheartedness and authenticity to sincerely sincerely initiate contact with women you feel a connection to discover strategies for keeping your spirits up which of course is the hardest thing to do in the in the dating world for 60 somethings to discover strategies for keeping my spirits up as I continue to look for my doomer chick forever to show up in a loving relationship with yourself because you cannot attract you know the old saying uh, if you do not love yourself you will never have anybody else love you so uh, I wanted to to uh, get in a loving relationship with myself okay and the last two to truly know, to know, not to fool yourself a lot like this Dulcinea horse shit, but to really know with a capital K when someone is truly right for you. Now, th this is the hardest part on these dating apps is, you, 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 you know, when really all you have to go on is a photograph, uh, you know, where they get themselves all, all dolled up and, uh, you know, with their damn makeup on and going through Photoshop and, uh, you know, to, to knock 20 pounds off of them, get rid of the triple chin uh, and, and, and all of that shit. Uh, but to know when someone is truly right for you and do not forget to fine tune your communication skills to bring you success in both dating and building deeply fulfilling long-term relationships with your greeny doomer chick forever. I am thrilled to personally invite you to a course that will do all of that and more. Yes. Join me, Joy Taylor and Gavin Fry, in our upcoming four-part workshop series titled Conscious Online Dating Keys for creating an authentic, long-term relationship. Yes. Where we are creating an interactive
interactive workshop space to empower you to rebirth your dating experience. Yes. And uh, these new paradigms and experiential exercises presented will allow you to engage in your dating journey with new eyes, with a renewed appreciation for how to use the dating process to mature and transform your consciousness. Yes. Our intention is to inspire you to embrace your dating journey as a spiritual and healing practice while offering all the skills, insights, and support you need to attract a spiritually aligned partner, yes, and build a real, authentic, and lasting connection with your very own greeny Doomer Chick forever. So anyway, guys, as hard as it was for me to uh, keep this secret, you know, I managed that. I said, okay, I'm going to knock off the joking around and uh, be serious and uh, give these people a chance to, uh, to prove that they can come through well, guess what, guys? It has happened. It has happened. Hambone Littletail has found his lifelong partner. I have gotten myself aligned with my lifelong partner. And uh, she's traveling in India right now unfortunately she's on a a trip to India right now where she's getting a, taking a yoga and meditation course in India but she should be back in a couple of weeks and I will bring her on the show so uh, she can talk about our new relationship but uh, it is time to introduce her. Don't know uh, if she wants me to use her real name. So we're just going to call her, uh, we're going to call her Gabby Potato. So, I mean, Potato. So, Gabby Potato, come and say hello to Humpty Dumpty Tribe. All right. There she is. My, it has finally happened. My, uh, my new Doomer chick forever. Uh, I hear she tells me she has a BMI of 12. She has a BMI of 12. Uh, this is her kneecap, a little bit of her uh, shin bone and calf. Uh, I guess she, I, I think she is clutching a, a Buddhist prayer flag in this photo, but, uh, anyway, uh, Dulcinea, if you're reading this, you have been replaced. Goodbye, Dulcinea. Uh, Gabby Potato and Ham My Little Tail have found each other through green singles and uh, there you go uh, the woman I have been waiting for since the day I was born uh, I just hope she comes back from India I, I got this weird email from her that she was heading off into a forest I I, you know, I, she took off a few weeks ago, 
the last email I got from her is is uh, Hammy darling uh, I'm going off into the forest to sit and meditate under a tree like Buddha and let the world come to me so uh, the last I heard from Gabby Potato she was off to go meditate under a tree in India and uh, she would call me when she got back and we could begin our life journey together but this is the last picture I have gotten of Gabby Potato so wish me luck guys it has finally happened uh, I can finally banish Dulcinea once and for all and forever out of my life oh baby come back home Ammo needs you Gabby and I wish all of you luck finding your doomer chick or doomer dude forever I highly recommend the green singles on the conscious dating network and you too can find your doomer chick forever just like I did and I have to wrap this up to go see if bugs in a jar is floating away in a flood Bye, guys.